In this video, I'm going to show you how to homebrew your Wii U. It's also known as jailbreaking, but let's get right into it. All you need for this tutorial is an SD card formatted as FAT32. If it's above 32 gigabytes, you need um, a software to format it to FAT32. I'll link a video in the description if you want to do that. And a Wii U with an internet connection. But first off, we gotta prepare our SD card. So if you go to the first link in the description, it'll take you to this page. And you're going to want to download a few different things. First thing, just click on WUP Installer GX2 and it should start the download. Then click on Homebrew App Store. It should take you to this page. Scroll all the way down and click on Wii U Extract OSD. It should download. And if you go back to the first page, we're just going to also download Save Me Mod just by clicking on it. So you should have those three downloaded. And then if you go into the second link in the description. It should take you to this tiramisu page. Scroll down, click on tiramisu for your cafe. It should take you to this page. Everything should be checked already, so just click download package and it'll download the environment loader. Go back to the first page and click on sig patches module. And that should bring you to here, click on 01 sigpatches.rpx and that should download. So there's one more page, so go to the next link. This is for the VWE, and you're gonna need to download the VWE Compat installer. So click on that, it should bring you here and click on the first link, it should download. And download patch iOS 80 installer for VWE, and the last one is D2X CIOS installer. If you modded the, the Wii, that one's gonna sound familiar. But anyways, that's all of our downloads. So let's bring up our SD card. So as you can see, the root of my SD card is empty. If I right click on it and go to properties, it's FAT32. Again, if you don't know how to do that for, for devices above 32 gigabytes, check the link in the description and you'll learn how. Otherwise, if it's 32 gigabytes, you can just right click on it and format. But It'll erase everything on it, so just be sure you, uh, if you want to save anything, just back it up to your computer and then format it. Let's get our SD card set up. So the first one you want to do, just open up Environment Loader. And then you're going to highlight these two files and drag it onto the root of your SD card. The Wii U and the versions.json. So you can exit out of the Environment Loader. Next up, it's the SIG patches file. You're going to go onto your SD card, open up Wii U, Environments, Tiramisu, Modules, Setup, and this is where you're going to put it. So just drag over SIG patches and place it in that folder. Go back to the root. And the next one you're going to do, you're going to open up D2X CIOS installer and just drag the apps folder onto the root of your SD card. Click out of there. Then open up patched iOS 80, just the apps folder, drag it onto the root of your SD and it'll go into the apps one that you have already created. There they are. Next up, we're going to do the compat installer, go into your Wii U folder, go into apps and we're just going to drag it right on here, place it in there. It's good. Let's go back to the root and this may seem like a lot, but if you just follow the steps carefully, you'll have no problems. But the next one we're going to do, open up the save me mod and just drag this Wii U file onto the root of your SD. And then we're going to do it again with the Wii U extract OSD, open it up, just drag this Wii U file straight onto the root. And then you'll see app store in your Wii U apps. So back to the root, exit out of here. And the last file, open up the WUP installer and just highlight everything, oops, highlight everything and just drag it all onto the root of the SD. And then it'll be in your app, your Wii U apps, WAP installer. So that's it for your SD card. It should look like this. Apps folder has these two files. Wii U has all these files, these apps. And now we're ready to go onto the Wii U. I'll meet you there. So after you have inserted your SD card into your Wii, go to the internet browser, enter a URL, 
and type in Wii U exploit dot X Y Z. X Y Z. I'm Canadian. <laughs> and hit OK. And it should you, should take you to this page. So what we're gonna do first is dump our NAND. So in order to do that, click Run Exploit. But when you do, press and hold the B button. And you just hold it until you get the page that you want. And here we are. So we're going to select NAND dumper. Hit A on it. Everything here should be checked that you need. Hit A again. And it's going to dump your NAND. So this can take a while, up to 10 minutes. Hey look, hi. <laughs> and when it's complete, it's gonna restart your console. So I'll meet you back when it's done and restarted. So that only took about five minutes and my console is reset. And we're gonna go back to the internet browser and go to the same URL, weuexploit.xyz. So let's go and do that. And once you're there, Instead of pressing B this time, you're gonna hold X after you press run exploit. So let's do that. Run exploit and hold X. And just keep holding it until we see what we want. Perfect. So now we're on the environment loader. It's on installer, so just click A. And now it's going to say, welcome to payload installer, and just press A on check. We're going to see if there's an installation possible. There is, so uh, click A again on install, and just go down, down on the D-pad, and click A on install, and it shouldn't take too long. And then press A, and the, sh the console will shut down. So we'll turn it back on and uh, continue off. So once that's installed, your, your Wii U is now hacked with Tiramisu. So to go into Tiramisu, you have to go into the health, health and safety information. Right now, it's just a regular Wii U, but in order to get Tiramisu, you just have to click on health and safety and hold X. And we're just gonna make some changes quick. So go down on the D-pad to Tiramisu and press Y. That'll make it the default. So as you, you can see, it's highlighted press A and then we're going to do the same for Wii U menu which should be the first option so click Y to highlight it and click A so once that's done you're set I'm going to restart the console just to give you guys an idea of how it is so when you turn it on and it takes you to the menu it is not on the homebrew Wii you have to go into the health and safety first so once we're there, I'll show you. So you double click health and safety. It'll go through these screens. Take you back to the Wii menu. And now you're in Tiramisu. So to go to the homebrew launcher, double click on Me Maker. And there we go, we're into the homebrew channel. So from here, we're gonna do the compat installer. Click load. And this is gonna put homebrew uh, channel on the virtual Wii, on the Wii menu. So press A, should be pretty quick. Press home to exit. There, so there, now there's a couple things we need to do on the Wii menu, so I'll meet you back on the screen. So now we're on the Wii menu, you can go into the homebrew channel and start it up. And here you're going to load up D2X CIOS installer. If you've homebrewed your Wii, you will know what we're about to do next. Press A. So when you get here, you're going to use your D-pad, go right and select the one where it says beta 52 VWE. 
go down and change the base to 57 make sure it's 249 and click a and it should install now currently and that's done so press a next you're going to change the base to 56 leave the top the same and change the slot to 250 and that one's done so once that's done go to base 58 and slot 251 press a and this will download as well and this is the last one we need to do and we're all done so just press B to exit and it should take you back to the homebrew channel so once you're back in the homebrew channel we're gonna do the iOS 80 installer so press a and click load and it'll bring you to a screen where it won't let you do anything for 30 seconds uh, it wants you to read all of this uh, before continuing it gives you 30 seconds you know I probably couldn't read it in 30 seconds they should give you a minute <laughs> but anyways you just gotta wait 30 seconds before you can click A and there we go we can press any button to continue so let's click A and the installation should be pretty quick but that warning does say uh, do this at your own risk can't blame anyone else if you do it to your own Wii so that's done so now all the firmware is onto your Wii U and your V Wii, so you're totally set to do whatever you want with your homebrew Wii. But I am going to tell you uh, again on the Wii menu, on a fresh reboot of your Wii, so once it was off and you turn it back on, this is just a regular Wii U. In order to get the Tiramisu, all you do is click on health and safety information and it should run uh, the software to turn it into the homebrew. You can set it up to auto boot so that you don't have to do this and that when you turn your Wii on it's it's already all set up. Uh, but I won't be making that tutorial in this video. So keep your eye out for that and subscribe if you want to see how to do that. But now once you went through the health and safety information, uh, just click on Me Maker and this is the homebrew launcher. It's inconspicu inconspicuous, incognito, but it works so it's no big deal. So that's everything for this tutorial, for this video. Uh, if you found it helpful, make sure to leave a like. Uh, it's greatly appreciated, it helps out a lot. And leave a comment if you run into any issues and I'll do my best to reply in a timely fashion. Subscribe if you wanna see more Wii U tutorials or if you wanna see Wii tutorials, I have a whole playlist for that. And I hope you have a good day. Take care.